Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone! This is part three out of four of this special robotics lesson from RoboCamp team. Now, this means that we have already covered the context of today's project, we have created this robot, and now we are about to learn all about what's happening inside this robot. Find out what electronics there are, what we can do with them, what other gears and interesting mechanisms are hiding there, so that we can understand this construction before we proceed to the last fourth station st stage of this lesson where we create a program to control this amazing robot. So, if you want to complete this stage with me, you need your robotic Santa. Now, I have mine right here in front of me. This is how it looks like. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay. And I want you to have it somewhere close, somewhere nearby, on a desk where you can easily hold it in your hands, see all the elements up and close as we analyze them step by step. Now, if you are a teacher and you would like to conduct a lesson like this one with your students, it's pretty easy. So, if you are interested in the instructions, mind you, all that you can see behind me, you can use too. Check out the links in the description of this video. Now, guys, if you are ready to start this stage of the lesson, let's do it. This robotic construction clearly consists of three parts. Let's start with the sleigh. Sleigh is this part right here, okay? It is actually the base for the entire model. It is sturdy, wide, and also a good means of transportation for Santa. What's more, in the sleigh we have hidden all the electronic elements needed for this robot. Now let's take a look at the second very, very important part of this construction, the robotic Santa Claus. It's sitting right here, okay, on top of the sleigh, and you can see that he's actually holding reins of the reindeer, probably trying to steer it in the right direction. Finally, let's take a look at the reindeer. Now, I would like to say that it's running, but it's actually galloping or flying in the air. Who knows in what direction? Now, behind me on this animation, you can see how this robot will move like once we create and activate the program for it. You can see that a lot is happening, a reindeer and Santa are moving, but also all the gears below them are moving as well. Now, before we go further, I have one question for you. How do you think? Is it Santa controlling the reindeer? Or perhaps is it the reindeer who's controlling the Santa? On a cross-section behind me, you can see all the electronics that are included in this robot. We have one EV3 brick and three motors. Now, the most important electronic part in any robot built from EV3 Mindstorms is the brick, okay? It's right here and it plays a vital role. You see, at the same time, it collects and processes all the readings, information from sensors. It also sends signals to motors, thus controlling them. What's more, the brick serves as a power source to all other electronic elements connected to it. This is why it's so important to have charged batteries inside this brick. So, before you go to the next stage, be sure to check if you have batteries inside the brick and if they are sufficiently charged. Now, when it comes to motors, we have three. 
two large motors and one medium motor. Okay, large motors are right here on the sides, medium is hidden underneath the Santa. Let me <laughs> a bit change the position of my construction, okay, because right here, right now, we can really see well where those motors are right here and over here we have two large motors okay you can see that they are connected to the sleigh and the medium motor goes somewhere to the front so now guys let's see how those motors are connected and what they are responsible for the large motors, so the ones that are on the sides of the sleigh, serve as the main sleigh drive. They are the reason why this robot will be able to move from one place to another. Now, when both of them receive the same power and rotate in the same direction, then the sleigh will drive forward. However, let's take a look at something. If we power only the right only the right motor this means that the left will not move and the sleigh will turn left now if of course we power the left one this means that the right one doesn't move and then we can turn right okay now this kind of locomotion this kind of maneuver is called skid steering as you recall from the beginning of this video, there are many parts in this construction that move once it is activated. For example, the reindeer's head um, or its legs, reins, also Santa's torso. And you know that all these elements move in a slightly different way. Now, this effect was achieved thanks to many different transmissions and connections we have in this construction. But, interestingly enough, all those elements are powered by the same motor, the medium motor, which is hidden directly under Santa, right here. Okay, now I want to show you how this transmission looks like, so I need to take my robot and turn it upside down. Because from this perspective, it is much better visible. Here underneath the sleigh, we can clearly see the medium motor. It is right here. And you can see that this is connected to the first gear train over here. Now this gear train, if you take a closer look, you'll notice that it is actually connected at an angle. There are two gears in here, where gray one visible from this perspective and the black one right over here. This first gear train allows to transfer the drive from the motor further on to this axle. Axle connected to the reindeer. And also you can see that this axle is actually tilted upwards, which creates the impression of the reindeer flying in the air. At the end of this axle, you can see the worm. It transfers the drive further on to another gear, okay? Together with this gear, which is slightly hidden, okay? It is hidden right here. <laughs> Together, they form a worm gear, which changes the plane of rotation by 90 degrees. From this perspective, right here behind me on this cross section, you can see what happens once the drive is transferred to the worm gear. Where does it go next? Well, it actually is transferred to the shorter axle connected to the front legs of the reindeer, right here. Okay, now thanks to this solution, you can see that the front legs of the reindeer, when they move, they are actually rotating, they are moving around a circle. And the back legs are connected to the front ones. 
Now, this is a complex solution, but it allows to create this really cool movement of the galloping animal. Once the drive originally created in the medium motor reaches reindeer's legs, it also reaches those triangular beams you see on the reindeer's back. Now, one of them is connected to the reindeer's head right here. Okay. And as it moves, of course, the reindeer's head moves as well, back and forth in turns, just like those triangular beams move. What's more, both of them are connected to the reins. Reins held by the robotic Santa Claus. And as they move, the robotic Santa moves as well, looking left and right, almost as if he's looking for anyone looking for a gift. <laughs> now, everyone, can you answer the question, who is controlling who? Is it Santa controlling the reindeer? Or is it the reindeer who is controlling the Santa? If you know the answer to this question, leave your answer in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave us a thumbs up. More about the creators of this construction, Robotic Santa and many others, is in the description of this video with links on how to get instructions and more robots like this. Now, if you want to continue with me this project, there is still some programming to do. And this means that I'll see you in the next part of this lesson.